Before we get started, word of caution, today's video is all over the place, including another country. Here we go again with another video, and we are on the road today. We're heading to Michigan. Got to drop my brother-in-law off at the airport. He's heading back to Houston, and we're going to do a little bit of shopping over there. Not a lot of shopping, just, just a little bit. We got a big storm coming, but right now all we got is rain. It's supposed to get colder probably tonight or tomorrow, and then it's going to start freezing up, and a whole lot of snow is going to be coming. But you're on the road. What do you got in your car? What if you get stuck? What if your car breaks down? Are you prepared for that? I'm going to bet probably 85 to 90% of the people on the highway right now are not prepared. So we are going to get on the 401 and head to Windsor. We're going to cross over probably the tunnel because Jen don't like the bridge. We're going to cross over the tunnel, head up to the airport, drop him off. I think we are going to be doing some running around, hit a couple of stores. Anyway, let's hit the road. Well, we made it through customs, made it to the Detroit airport, as you can see over there, and it is still raining. Temperature has not dropped yet. That's, that's a good thing. Hopefully it doesn't drop until we get back home. But Jenna's walked her brother inside. Ella's gone with her. And as soon as we're done there, we're going to do a little bit of light shopping. And we're going to head back home because we don't want to get caught in any weather. Might even stop for lunch because this poor fella has not ate yet today. So, we sit here. We wait for Jen to come back out. But back on the road. Well, it is still raining. It's been about an hour. Yeah, roughly an hour. In and out of Hobby Lobby. Not a whole lot of damage done there. That's a pretty cool place. I got some more signs for the shop. More automotive signs for the shop, that is. We are now at Myers on Eureka Road. Uh, we're going to go in there real quick. And then we're going to stop at Chipotle and get some lunch. And then we're going to head back home. Well, we have made our way back after a stop at Hobby Lobby, Myers, and Chipotle for lunch. Do you guys have a Hobby Lobby near you? There's there's nothing like it here in Canada that I've ever seen, but we got some pretty cool things there. The one thing that I like to see is all the old oil and gas stuff, the signs and whatnot. Look what I got here. The license plate, 66, good year. I uh, found a Route 66 Texas sign, another Route 66, Texaco, and an old Chevy truck. And the stuff is cheap, like some of the stuff is 50% off, so like for the, for the tin signs, for the metal signs, I'm probably paying no more than $12 or $13 for a sign. You cannot beat that anywhere else. And if you find an original one, well... You might as well keep your twelve or thirteen dollars in your pocket because it ain't gonna buy it. Anyway, we are back home. What do we got to do? Well, I got a project sitting on the bench here that's got to get done, uh, but kind of got a pressing issue. Like I said earlier, we got some cold, cold weather coming through, and we've got a couple of outdoor cats that I built the houses for, and uh, I decided I'm gonna let them in the shop, but I can't keep the door open. And I can't lock them in the shop. So what I am going to do is, right over there, next to a stud, I'm going to cut an 8-inch hole in the wall. That goes right to the side. You see me pointing there? You can. That goes right outside the shop. Fenced off over here, and fenced off in the back, but obviously they can jump the fence. I just got to get them in here, show them the hole, so they can go outside and say, hey, we're outside. But they come inside where the heat is. You guys come in here and get some heat because it is going to get bitterly cold. Oh, the other thing I got. I got, uh, yeah. uh, Jen's Durango was due for an oil change. So the other thing I got over there was some Mobile One 5W20. Now this was $26 for 5 quarts or 4.73 liters. It tells you that right there. $26. Even with the exchange, and there was no duty coming back, even with the money exchange, that same one here is probably pushing 40 bucks. I don't understand. So I picked that up, but they didn't have any oil filters. So we're kind of SOL there. But I think we need to get started on building that hole so my cats don't freeze. Well, this is what I'm thinking. 
So if I get that hole cut in the wall down there and right on the floor. This piece here goes in straight up and down like it is screwed to the stud. This piece here will be about that wide roughly. And we got a six inch wide top. Now well, maybe not quite that wide, but shorten it up just a bit. And basically what this is doing is creating a tunnel where the cat would just come through and into the shop. If he wants to leave, he can go out that way. Why I don't just cut it a hole and leave it that way is because I don't want the snow coming in there and whatnot. So I, this way here. I can leave a bit of this hanging outside so that hopefully the snow won't come blowing inside and end up on the floor down there so I think what we're going to do right now is we're going to get the hole cut in the bottom of the wall then we're going to slip that through the hole and see how it fits yeah it's exactly what we're going to do found our stud our stud runs right here be up off the floor just a little bit Trace out our opening. Try not to mess it up. But you will. And just like that. We're going to cut this out up here. Over and down. And be able to slide that through. Alright, so if we look inside there. I did not know we had plywood. Than the siding on the outside. I was aware of the insulation because I put it there. So what we're going to do is we're going to drill four holes, one in each corner, and we're going to run the saws all through it and get our exterior hole. Not a big deal. Here we go. It's open. It's open. A little short on screws, so we have to improvise. I only got some inch and a quarter screws going through this. Well, almost one inch burn board, but a little pro tip for you. If your screw's too short, if you don't have the proper screws, I want a little more bite than just a quarter of an inch countersink the holes it'll last longer or it won't I'm just making that up that's it that's our tunnel piece of the siding hanging on there Got that all cut off. Folks, we got an opening. I'll go in there. Like that. Perfect. Just like that. Now I'll pound that in a little further. And we'll get it anchored down. And here is the end result. We've got ourselves a nice little tunnel. Cats can come through from the outside in and from the inside out. Tomorrow I'm going to head over to Lumber Yard and grab some spray foam and I'll fill in around this side here. And I'll go outside and I'll do the same thing on the outside. That way you kind of seal it up a little bit better. And then if need be, you know, I can always take it out and cut this back flush so it's flush with there. Just want to give them a little more support inside there. But now that I see that sticking out. I might not like that sticking out like that. In fact... I don't. Right back. I think that looks a whole lot better. Now it's not completely flush with the wall, but it's flusher. We'll go with flusher. So like I said, tomorrow I'll get some spray foam. We'll go around here, around here, down there. And this is just a simple opening. I just wondered if there was too much of a tunnel and the cats didn't want to come through. Now there's only two of them that I know of. Now I guarantee 
Y'all mark my words. So now there's Beanie and Louie, or Beatrice and Louie, th that can come in here throughout the night. There's also a few other ones that hang around. Little Bottom, Dark Lord, Little Barn, Big Barn. There's a, there's a whole host. She's got a whole host of them, but my concern is, is that I'm going to come in here one morning to start doing some work, and there's going to be a plus some desirable animal in here, whether it be a skunk or raccoon, that's going to lay claim to my stuff. Then I'm going to have to send a message to him and his family, and that's not going to be real nice. But anyway, that's about all I got for today's video. Uh, I told you. It was all over the place, literally. Two countries, different state, different province. We made our rounds today. Again, my main goal today was to get that installed. Because I don't want the cats freezing to death outside. And like I mentioned earlier in the video, are you prepared for what's coming? If it even comes, uh, if you're prepared and it doesn't come, did you lose anything? No, you didn't. If you don't prepare and it comes, you could lose your life depending on how things work out. So if you're traveling, pack some extra clothes, pack some candles, pack some food, pack some water. It doesn't take much. For less than probably $10 or $15, you can have enough to sustain yourself in your car for probably 24 hours. But if you don't, then uh, you're stranded and you're at the mercy of others. Uh, even if my truck was to break down on the side of the road, which I don't think it will, but things happen. Um, I have an inverter, which I did a video on it. I put an inverter in my truck. Uh, so even if the truck broke down for whatever reason, but the battery still operated, I could run my inverter and uh, still run a ceramic heater inside the cab of my truck to keep us warm. But anyway, I'm just trying to give you a couple of tips here and there. Make sure you're prepared. If you're going to travel, prepare yourself. If you don't need to travel, stay home. But that is going to do it for today's video. Like I said, probably three times now all over the place that's just how today was so i am sure i'll see you all before the weekend snow comes but until then don't forget get outside and enjoy the outdoors here i'm telling you to stay home if you don't have to go out and then i turn around tight and go outside and enjoy the outdoors safely later